Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. If you don't know, my name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video request, make sure to drop on below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And all the videos that were posted lately on my channel, including this one and the ones <laughs> the coming in the future, are all requests. So a request equals more videos, no request equals no videos. So <laughs> that's simple. And in this video, I will show you how to hide the price for the sold out products on your Shopify store. And I mean only the sold out products and variants. So if you have a product and you have like a variant that's not available anymore, you can actually hide the price only for the variant that's not available anymore. And that will be applied automatically. You don't have to set each product to set the, this thing for, no just a script that will do this on all your product across your Shopify store. So you don't have to redo the trick again. And as always, this trick will work for every free Shopify team, including the sense team refresh or any team that's free on Shopify store. I do test the tricks on and it's guaranteed for me that it works. And even if it doesn't, because I know in the future, like through updates and stuff from Shopify, it can break some stuff. Just drop me a comment below, I will be happy to help you out. But as you can see, I have the latest version of a down team, as you can see, the 15, which is the latest version as of now, and I will do the trick on it. And let's just access Shopify store, which is this one, and pick a product from here. I think this one has some uh, variant that's not available. Yes, as you can see, so if I click on the variant that's not available, it just said here, sold out, and it still shows the price. So I want the price to be not displayed at all when the uh, someone or the customer, potential customer actually clicked on the red variant. But if he clicks on the white, it should show him the price. That's exactly what I'm about to do in this video. So we will keep this page open right here, redo the trick, come back and see that for ourselves. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously get back to Shopify dashboard. And the next thing you're going to do is click on the three dots for the, the team that are using and click on edit code and it will take you to the code editor and simply use the search bar to search for either base.css or team.css or style.css. I have to keep repeating this phrase because people always be like, I can find base, then find style or team.css. Every Shopify team on the Shopify team store has either base.css or team.css or style.css. That's 100%, otherwise the team would not work. So for my case, it's base. So I'm going to search for base and here we go, base.css. Scroll all the way down to the bottom page. Let me drag this down because it's pretty big file and here we go. So we are at the bottom of the file. Make sure you access completely new line and nothing on it. And now the next thing you're going to do is, as always, scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code and simply click on it and it will take you to this website right here. And what happened? Okay, this is, I think it did open in new tab. Anyway, so this call right here will do the trick for us. And by the way, I'm trying to migrate all the codes I have to my own website and I'm working on that as of now because I know this passbang can be uh, really difficult to work with because sometimes it doesn't work for some countries as well as it, it does go down sometimes. The website doesn't work so you, I, you can't access the code on either me. So uh, next thing you're going to do, I'm getting drifted off the subject here, is select the code in here. Simply select it, right click and copy. Get back in here, simply paste it at the bottom of the file in here. Then simply click on the save button after the changes with David, we will get back to product page and reload the page. So right now, as you can see, I'm clicking on the white one, the white variant, I mean, which is the one that's already available. So it does show the price. Let's just click on the red variant, which is the one that's not available anymore and see if it will show us the price or no. Oh, no price, as you can see, it only says sold out. So it doesn't show the price anymore. And that's how you hide the price on the product that's not available or even just the variance for a certain product that's not available anymore without using any apps or anything like that. And as I said, this script will work for every product on your Shopify store. And if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. Otherwise, I think my job is done for now. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.